Well, it is a joy to know Sister Brandy. You're my sister. <laughs> That's all. Um, brethren, what a day this is for me to be standing in front of my brothers and sisters. What a joy I feel inside of me to see the presence of Christ. It is just a glow that you emit whenever I see you and whenever I hear you. It is so humbling to be standing here, but what I'm about to testify, please let it glorify our Lord, that this may boast of the wondrous works of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Raised in the outer courts, sprinkled, confirmed, doxologized, taught the Ten Commandments, the extent of my knowledge of the word consisted of a babe in swaddling clothes and a man that hung on a tree. Understanding was void. I knew right from wrong, yet rebelliousness preferred wrong. Sinning brought pleasure. My growing up in the world led to the lust of the eye and seeking pleasures of the flesh. I was being educated in Satan's works. Me, myself, and I came first. The laws were easy to break. There was no obvious recourse, pleasing only myself. My heart became hardened, hard as stone. Hate was my mainstay. The path I was on became so wide, I slipped on the miry clay, and down to the pit I went. It was dark and getting deeper and darker. I lived in damnation. The wrath of God was upon my head. Trials became so numerous, hurts and deceptions rampant, pierced with so many sorrows. The law-breaking had to stop. I could do this. <laughs> if I wanted to badly enough, my will could get me out of this horrible pit. Little did I know how feeble-minded I was. Though somehow, they that heard it said, who then can be saved? And he said, the things which are impossible with man are possible with God. So somewhere, somehow, a seed had been planted. It died. It took hold and began to grow. I began to listen. Read the Bible. The Lord saves. Know the Lord. I began to hear. Who hath ears to hear? Let him hear. The word began to open to me. What led me to hearing began to lead me to understanding. It is not my will, but thine. Knowledge. That is it not what I do, but what he does within me. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in, the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Knowledge led to spiritual understanding. For the brace, for, for by grace that ye save through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works. He has chosen me. Uh, he has been blessed. He has blessed me, and I am now placed on a firm foundation. The rock of salvation is under my feet. His righteousness, it is faith. I hold fast. No longer is each of sand under my feet. My path is narrowing. A light is beginning to shine in a dark place. The day star rose in my heart. It is Jesus Christ that died on that tree to remove sin. Wherefore he saith, Awake then that sleepeth, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Where sin abounds, grace did much more. His abounding gift of grace. What a picture has been revealed revealed by God's Son, Jesus Christ, of greater things to come by faith. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. It was, it is, and it shall be God's will that his Son, Jesus Christ, came and removed my sin for his eternal purpose of salvation and glory. I am blessed by the blood of the Lamb. My sins have been washed clean and white as wool. Blessed assurance, Jesus Christ died so that I might live. I have been born again. Praise the Lord. I hate that old man. I am longing for the day when I have that new name, 
and I fall on my knees in righteousness for the kingdom to come. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for bringing me to God.